If you're like most Canadians, either you've already received an income tax refund or you're waiting for it to arrive. So what are your plans for that money? CTV's chief financial commentator, Patty Lovett-Reed, says some decisions are smarter than others. <laughs> she joins us from BNN. Good morning. Good morning, Beth. Big surprise, I'm going to say, don't blow it. And the other thing is, I don't think we should be celebrating a tax refund. That means the government's had use of your money rather than you. Instead of you, I couldn't agree with you more. Okay, <laughs> well, let's talk about putting it to work or you know, using that money wisely. And, and, and you've kind of divided it for us in terms of where you are, what stage in life. Let's begin with say, you know, early in your career. That's right. And in fact, I got to give credit where it's due here. TD came out with a report and they said six in 10 of us expect to have a tax refund. 61% expect to get back $1,500. So that's a lot of money, Beth. Mm -hmm. So if you're just starting out in your career, you might want to pay down your student debt or you might want to tuck that money away in a tax-free savings account because you likely get a vacation, but you likely won't have money saved for it. <laughs> so this could go a long way in helping. Um, the bottom line is you just don't want to blow that money. So you, I mean, and so we're talking about the, the graduate, and then something you call the go-getter. <laughs> yeah. So I tell like us the about idea. That. Well, you know, I like the idea of the go-getter. This is the person that says, okay, I'm getting this money and I'm going to make it work hard for me. And so if you are working, you might want to check to see if your pension uh, has a matching uh, from your employer. Put the two together and it becomes more found money for you. You might want to sit down with a financial advisor or planner because, again, this is a lot of money. Get it going, working for you earlier on, and that's when time and compounding works for you. This is a really interesting aspect to it, the property pursuer. Yeah, there are a lot of people looking for their first time home, uh, and sure, they could use this money towards a down payment, $1,500 added to your mortgage to reduce it. My goodness, that could go a long way over time. But also, think about putting the money in a tax-free savings account because if you're a homeowner, you know know the roof will leak when you least expect it. You never have the money for it, but you will if you use your tax refund for it. That rainy day fund. Okay, so and what about when you're more established in your career, maybe a little older? You know, I guess this is where you really look at it and you understand your own balance sheet and say, where can I get the biggest bang for my buck? Again, it could be paying down debt. The conventional wisdom often says when you get a tax refund, put that money into your registered retirement savings plan. That's how you advance your balance sheet. You know, it really does become a win-win. But really look at how you can make that money work. And if you're a family and you have children, maybe consider putting it into the registered education savings plan. Again, get that money working for you. Okay, so what about if you're starting a new chapter? A new chapter could be a remarriage, you may be starting a new job, you may be entering retirement, and this money could be used to really, you know, sort of kickstart things. You may decide to just set it aside because you need that vacation. You may decide to take another course. You and I have talked a lot about this over the years. I believe very strongly in lifelong learning. Mm. And so if you get that tax refund and you decide to invest in yourself, and it could be in a health program, it could be in a self-betterment uh, program, I mean, the list goes on and on. To me, it just makes all kinds of sense. Maybe take up a hobby, maybe start a new business. Great ideas, and as always, great advice. Patty, thanks so much. Thanks a lot, Beth. You can read more in Patty's blog on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca.